So we're going to see how much easier the wagon pulls now with a new grease job. With a little bit of load on it. We have this wagon which we use on the farm a lot and we haul wood on it, we haul vegetables from the field on it and it's equipped where the pull handle just take out one bolt and lift it off and it will hook onto our lawnmower and we can do a lot of the pulling with the lawnmower. But on one of the wheels where the bearings went out. They have ball bearings in them, and the cage which hold the bearings rusted and collapsed. So we had to buy a new wheel, and, and the new one comes with a grease fitting where it can be greased. So I'm going to put the new wheel on and tighten up the nut and everything, and then I'll pump it full of grease the bearings and then I'm going to remove the others, other wheels and fill their wheels with grease also because they don't have grease fittings in them. I'm a grease gun here but as always it's out of grease so I'm going to have to remove the cartridge and put a new cartridge of grease in it before I can grease the wheel. So I'll do that right now and hope so I've got to open up the new or grease cartridge and then you got to open the plunger in and then you have to pull the plunger back, and one way it kind of locks, every way it doesn't lock well. And you have to slide that in slowly or you squirt the grease out. And then you have to put the top back on it. And then after you get that done, you have to work the air out of the grease gun. Maybe that will do it. So comes with two sets of bearings to fit different sizes of axles where they go on. And so we're ready to install a new tire on the axle and then tighten it up. Had a few squirts of grease left in my old tube of grease and I squirt it on the axle to help a little bit and after I get the wheel on I will grease the grease fitting here till it's full of grease. Put the nut on to hold it on. So I've got to tighten up the nut against the new bearings. And then we'll grease the wheel, and then we'll take the remaining three wheels off and grease them. The end of the grease gun 
will snap over a ridge on the new grease fitting and that keeps it from sliding off hopefully. With a loose fitting bearing like this, the only way you can tell when you when the bearing is filled with grease is it squirts out around the end. And this one's screwed out. So that one should be complete. As a nut broke loose from the axle, uh, take it off and pull the bearing or the wheel off. There's a little washer on there too. And pull it off and then fill it with grease. That completes the grease job for this thousand mile checkup. And so now we'll check the air in the tires and it'll be ready to go for haul a lot of jams at okra to the visible house. So we're gonna see how much easier the wagon pulls now with a new grease job. With a little bit of a load on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's not going to work. <laughs> Got to go in and tire it up. Man, that's a lot easier with the air tires aired up. That's much, much easier with the tires aired up. Just seems like nothing on the wagon now. Mm -hmm.